Yep, here we go. Oh yeah. Is it a big one? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a fatty. That one. That's a fatty. <laughs> so that big boy. Catching so big shell crackers today. Giants. Oh, just short. And to that we say, better luck next time, Gabe. This top of your bed right here is about four foot around and two foot deep. My first. What you got? First oh, bluegill. But he swallowed that thing. You got one. <laughs> you finally got one? Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Aww. He's got it. Look. Success! Woohoo! I oh, got it. Shoot. Okay, so oh, one. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It wasn't recorded yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Coming in the boat now. Nice and hot. Oh, yeah. First bluegill for me. Got a couple more in the boat now. What's that number? Oh, it's still, you didn't even get the worm. Oh. It's still, it reused the worm. And he didn't. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I got a fin in the middle of my finger. Right here. I got one right here. It's Get him, son! Day. It's like the shell cracker. What is it? Shell cracker hunter? I get him? Heck no, I don't get him when you film. Yahoo! Score! Yahoo! He's like a oh, he, he come off. Where did he go? No way! I take back my yo! I had him though. You could see him flopping. Got him! Oh! Woohoo! Really? You just yanking him in. fishing pole. I'm, I'm pulling out my inner aborigine while B-Rad's over there destroying the shell crackers. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're on the new airboat. We got Bailey. We got Rachel. We got Brad. And while they're catching shell crackers, I'm trying to get big, oh, get big tilapia. I've thrown this thing about 4,000 times and only got two. So my suggestion, if you're starving, you better bring a fishing pole and some earthworms. Because this throwing a pole is pretty hard. So is there any fish over here? Yeah, you're not anymore. Yes, they were. <laughs> this is where y'all been fishing? Yeah, I'm about to catch your foot. Look at that. This one took me about two or three jabs. That's why he's full of holes. This one, three to the head. Now you know he did. Let's recap on the big catfish though that I gigged off the front of the boat. Y'all watch this. There's dinner. Is that legal? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's right. And I got a new grill. So y'all saw my little, show them that little white cooler right there. Here he comes, here he comes. Eat it for the little one does. That's the grill, that's the Chill Billy, but Chill Billy also makes a grill and it's called Grill Billy and it's underneath my deck. The coolest little stainless steel grill ever. I've already got some pre made up aluminum foil with garlic and all kinds of stuff in it. We're gonna go cook here soon, right on the deck of this boat. Look at this big mammer jammer. Look at that thing. Like third the size of you. I'm telling you. What was that? Invader. He's been after us for a little while now. <laughs> Brett, we just heard a really loud noise splash back by the airboat. Brett said, I'm going to outrun all of y'all. <laughs> Look at the teeth, though. Look how pretty the colors are. Hi. <laughs> Holy cow!
What are you doing over there? You gotta walk slowly like an egret. see you so quick. I probably shouldn't have wore a red shirt. Dude, they see the gig coming. You get one? Oh, yeah. Oh, big catfish. Did it just stick you in your hand? Brad just shot him a big catfish. Yo, look at this. Look at the size of that thing. They're so hard that when I just gigged him in the head, I didn't gig him, you know, too hard trying to slam it through him, but it didn't even put a dent in it. Ow! Look how crazy that is. So we got two big catfish, two big tilapia, and a bunch of shell crackers. And I I'm, oh, oh, if I can get this one right here. All right, y'all, leave a comment below if you want to see me do another just spear pole fishing like the natives used to do it, except for our pole's a lot fancier. But we already got two big tilapia, two big catfish, a bunch of big shell crackers, so we got enough to eat and I'm starving. We're gonna get on this boat. Go find a spot a little bit more out of the wind. Break out this grill, Billy, and cook some good fish right here on Lake Okeechobee. So we're just riding along and found a whole wad of big bluegills, a new wad that we didn't even know about. All right, y'all, we got one big tilapia and one really nice catfish for Lake Okeechobee. 
Lake Okeechobee is a shallow lake, so it's not known for mega giant catfish. Check this new grill out, though. It weighs like 16, 17 pounds called Grill Billy. The same person that makes my white cooler bag, Chill Billy, makes the Grill Billy. It's brand new. We just got it. You can actually get an adapter for the smaller gas tank. I didn't ha they didn't have one at the hardware store, so I just brought the big one. No big deal. Let's clean this here. Tilapia. Got the white Danko. Brad with G3 Outfitters, he loves these tilapia from Lake Okeechobee. And he asked if I'd clean him one, so here we are. They're the bomb. This fish isn't even cold yet. He didn't make it to the bottom of the ice. One thing I can tell you about this tilapia, it's a lot better than that stuff you get in Publix because it was raised in a freshwater lake, not a cesspool. Some crazy place. Just like any other fish, get right down that backbone. Find the pin bones, angle your knife up a little bit, cut through them. There you go. A lot of people say these tilapia are real muddy tasting out here in the lake. You take a little bit of white vinegar, it'll take that right out of them. For the size of these tilapia, you would think they just have a ton of meat on them, but they don't. And next up is the catfish. All right, so a catfish's skin is real, real, real thin. It's hard to not cut through it, so don't push down very hard. Why didn't y'all bring me a towel? Why didn't who bring you a towel? You. You're my helper. You're supposed to think of those kind of things. I just want to tell you guys, I'm the best intern there is. You know, but I, I can't think of everything. As long as I you try. don't get started before nine o'clock, she's great. <laughs> you know I'm not a morning person. I try for you though. Alright, now that we got the fish knocked out. Y'all look at that though. That's deer sausage from South Georgia. My buddy Richard Harrison brought it up to me. Or brought it down to me I should say. And while we're getting the fish ready, we're going to cook some. It's already smoked so you really don't have to do anything but warm it up. I can tell you what, this joker this grill is pretty nice. It's stainless steel and it gets hot. So, in here, I have, come over here to aisle three. Let's see what I got in here. Let's see. I've got some onions, some ginger, some garlic, and some butter. Got one filet of tilapia, one filet of catfish. That's all we're gonna do. Just that much. Put it right in there. All right, so while the fish is cooking, let me tell you about the new boat. Look at that big motor. That's a Levitator, about a 540 horsepower car motor boat. It's got a three blade cinch niche prop. I wanted an airboat because I wanted to be able to get to some places that you can only get to by airboat. Meaning we got to jump into big reservoirs over big dikes. Even some roadways we gotta go over because there's no boat ramp. I had to have power poles because those things are just a, a must. I went with the trolling motor because I wanted to be able to use it when I'm bass fishing and not have to depend on the big motor as much. And speaking of gator hunting, it's time to put in for tags. And those of y'all that don't get drawn, you can contact Brad at G3 Outfitters. And if you wanna hunt with me, I get a ton of requests of people wanting to gator hunt, especially with me for some unknown reason. 
But if you want to hunt with me, you got to still contact Brad and book it through him. He does all the booking and I'll have everything for him in the description below. Now it's dirty, even though it's the first day, but we got Sea Deck. Castaway Customs installed all the Sea Deck. Those guys are awesome. They've got some of the most state-of-the-art computers there are to make this stuff. They can put almost any design you want on there. They got my Blue Gabe logo, my favorite. Castaway logo, a couple more BGs, favorite. All right, so when it came down to the motor, which motor I wanted on my airboat, when I was younger, I had a 0540, which is a aviation motor, an aircraft motor, and it's light and it's really powerful, but it's not really designed to put as much weight as I can put in this boat. The reason, one of the biggest reasons that I went with this particular motor is the horsepower. My old boat, you could put two people and maybe one cooler and you better not get anywhere real sticky. This boat, me, Bailey, Rachel, and Brad, two big coolers full of ice, my chill belly full of ice, the grill, the big gas propane tank, all of our rods, the fish gig, loaded down to the brim and I can still run dry and jump right up on my trailer, no problem. Why haven't you fixed me a sausage yet? Oh, I've just been busy. Mayo or mustard or anything. Cause we're roughing it. We're like Aborigines. We're really I already told you that right today. Mmm. Give me a piece of that. You guys, these kids don't know how to rough it these days. Back in me and Brad's day, one loaf of bread and some mayonnaise, a mayonnaise sandwich. We could come out here and fish all day. Now these kids gotta have their cell phone. Gotta have. I just sat on the cooler that I cleaned the fish on, didn't I? Oh man, these kids these days. If Bailey doesn't have internet service, give it up. She's calling the White House complaining. That is such a lie. No, it is not. You're out there bluegill fishing. You got your phone in one hand and the, and the rod in the other. Bluegill fishing because I'm busy filming you. Don't even try that. Who is behind the camera? Bailey Griffiths. Bailey Don't let him fool you. <laughs> I ain't gonna take the bullying. The bullying, you better. So with this particular grill, the little grill belly, it's super, super nice. This is the first time I've used it and it's worked out great. It and the little white cooler that you saw in my last video, the one that I had Sarah and the kids out here, both of them, if you use promo code BLUEGABE, you'll save 15%. And that's a pretty good chunk. That grill, I don't think is very much money at all, like 300 bucks maybe. And the little cooler is less than 100. You can't beat that. Y'all got anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. Is the sausage good? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to eat your tilapia? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I don't know if you can notice Brad's sarcasm, <laughs> but these tilapia on this lake are known to be really, really muddy. So we're going to see. So the boat manufacturer is Diamondback. They're located in Cocoa Beach area and so is Castaway Customs. If you want to get your boat sea decked, Castaway Customs, everything will be in the link below, just like the cooler and Brad's info. and. Anytime you watch any of our videos, if you're interested in what we're using, look in the description below and a lot of times there'll be a promo code that will save you money if you use it buying whatever product it is that you want to use. You think it's done? Oh yeah. Open it up and let's see. Super hot. Whoa! Oh yeah, it's done. I can smell the goodness from here. Whee. Are you excited, Rachel? I'm so excited. Bailey, just because you ate some deer sausage. You know I'm always ready to eat. Then get down here and get you a fork and let's try it. Dude, that little grill is super awesome. That fish has only been on there like 15 minutes. The best part about it is it stows away and I'll show you once we're done. Also, take your trash. If you're cooking out here like we are and just in the middle of nowhere, we're sitting at Buckhead Ridge, which is the north end of Lake Okeechobee. Typically, we'd be standing in water, but the lake is super dry right now. Yeah. Tilapia and catfish. catfish. I'll go for catfish first. Pretty sure that's going to be hot, Bay. I know. I'm going to blow it off a little bit. And I didn't mean to call you Bay. It's Bay Lee. Yes. Bay Lee. That's Bay. That's Bay. This Bay. Ooh, this hot. is sometimes Bay. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, but it tastes good. You liked it? I liked it, yeah. Well, I think it tastes stuck. like fish. I don't think I've ever had catfish before that wasn't fried. Now I'm going to try the catfish. But the tilapia is good. good. Mm. But I grew up eating tilapia, black and tilapia. Really? My dad used to bow fish for them. Catfish is good too. You like the catfish? I like both. I like the tilapia more. What? I know. All right, all right, G3. I'm not eating tilapia. <laughs> Just try you don't it, eat Brad. tilapia? 
You don't, don't have to eat it all I'm here. Not, I'm not eating that. Feed you. That's for sure. Mm. There's absolutely zero seasoning on that fish. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. Mm. I don't like the after flavor of the catfish. I like the flavor. Pretty damn good to me. Yeah. Oh, it you just, heard it. It just you tastes like it. fish. So I Zach Ketchum all, obviously y'all know I'm friends with Zach. He called me out the other day. He said, you drowned it out with seasonings. Yeah, there's a little bit of butter, ginger, and garlic in there, but the fish was above it. That's as plain Jane, no seasoning, no seasoning salt as you can possibly get. And both the girls liked it, and Brad even liked the catfish. But check out that sunset. It's going to be a good one. And leave a comment below if you want to see more airboat videos. If you don't want to see them, I don't know what to tell you because I just bought it and we're about to do a whole bunch of them. We're going to come back out and try to do more bow fishing at night with lights. We're going to try to do it in daytime. The other day when we were out here, all the tilapia stayed on their beds, but today they were boogery to say the least. They wouldn't stay there. What are y'all, like what are we doing here? <laughs> to dance? It's an air butt dance party. We're back an air dancing. boat dance party. <laughs> yes, of course. You got to keep things fun. I like the whole sauce you put together. I think that's my favorite part. I only expected y'all to eat like one or two bites and you're <laughs> over there digging in. We're hungry. Mm-hmm. Girls gotta eat. Mm. All right, y'all, we're gonna show you the ride in and how I jumped this boat up on the trailer on my last airboat video. Everybody's like, you're gonna tear it up. I'm not tearing nothing up. I paid for it. I worked my booty off to buy this. I'm not gonna tear it up. It's built for that. On the bottom of the airboat, there's actually about a half inch layer of polymer polymer it's super hard plastic material that they bolt onto the boat and it's meant for running over rocks and anything else you really want to run over listen guys i'm a guide out here on lake okeechobee and you see how this area we just cooked did all this um cooking we had several utensils and paper plates paper towels we left nothing behind please when you're out here drinking partying having your little family cookouts please pick up all your mess when you leave All right, you guys, that's why I bought a car motor boat. Two coolers, everything that else that's on that boat, four big heavy batteries, four people, trolling motor, you name it, that boat has it, and it just come across that dry land and right up onto the trailer like it owned it. You guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe, please, because each and every one of y'all count. I'm going to keep coming out with new videos, keep doing awesome things, but like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all. Thank you.